Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, 5050 from 2011. Directed by Jonathan Levine and starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Seth Rogen, and Anna Kendrick. So way back in 2011, I remember renting this the day it became available on DVD. I recall liking it so much that when I returned the store's copy the next day, I purchased a copy of 5050 from their for sale rack at the same time and took the new copy home with me. Man, I miss that store. It was a store called Hastings, it sold all things multimedia and had a huge rental section. Sadly, the franchise closed down sometime in the mid-2010s and I will never get over it. But you didn't come to hear me talk about that, you came to hear about 5050. The film is about a 27-year-old man, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who learns he has cancer and how he and those closest to him deal with that situation. The title refers to his odds of survival. Now, I have to give you a spoiler warning because to talk about the biggest thing in the movie, I have to reveal a pretty big plot point. Adam, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, lives to be cancer-free. And I have to say that because Adam's story is actually the screenwriter Will Reiser's story, as it is based on events in his life. And Seth Rogen's character of Kyle is actually just a slightly heightened version of Seth Rogen, seeing how Seth was friends with Will during the true life events the film is inspired by. I like this movie because I like the character of Kyle, the Seth Rogen proxy. From the moment Adam tells Kyle of his cancer, Kyle is there for his friend in whatever capacity he is needed, even if it is unconventional. And I'd like to think that I could be someone's Kyle if need be. That and the scene where Adam loses his shit a bit right before he's carted away for surgery really hits deep with me as I've gone through that exact same emotional roller coaster before every surgery I've ever had. And I've had more than my fair share. If you like this movie, there's another movie I think you'd really like that has the same sort of vibe, but is about mental health instead of cancer. The film is called It's Kind of a Funny Story, and it is one of my all-time favorite movies that I completely relate with. Anyway, the special features include some featurettes that talk about the true story the film is inspired by, and that's cool to get to see. It shouldn't surprise anyone that I'm giving this movie an A- because I think it's great. Come back tomorrow because I'll be talking about the overly masculine early Zack Snyder film 300. See y'all then.